What is going on YouTube? It's Alvin the Director. I'm back again with another video. For those who are new to the channel, I'm currently a second lieutenant up here at Fort Wainwright, Alaska. Um, it's actually warm now. I put that in the last video as well, but today it hit 50 degrees, so like this is a milestone. First time it's hit 50 degrees since last year, so like, you know, I feel good. I feel pretty warm. And shout out to my barber. You know who you are. I really need you right now because like, you know, with everything going on in the world, I can't get a haircut, so right now we have relaxed. Um, hair standards not grooming standards but hair standards on Fort Wayne right so you know I'm probably gonna sport a little afro and my head's gonna look a little nappy for the video but charge my head not my heart all right so let's get into it a lot of people ask me about what the best boots are in the army and you know I can always answer that question based on what I think are the best boots in the army but you know I want to be fair to the viewers and I want to give you all the best results and I wanted to give you all correct information because again on my channel I always try to be authentic all right so with that being said I did a poll I did it on Instagram I did it on Facebook I did it in a bunch of groups that I'm in I'm in a bunch of different um, army groups and things like that with peers and with mentors and I reached out to everyone I even reached out to veterans and I wanted to ask them what the best boots are for the army now with boots these are something that a lot of soldiers are very very peculiar about because um, your feet are very important to me they're the most important like part of your body when it comes to having longevity in your army career all right so before I get started into um, what the best boots are and what the results were, I have my phone out because this is what I'm looking at to um, refer to all my notes to make sure I'm giving you all the correct information based on the polls. So first I want to talk to you about what the different types of boots are. So you have your garrison boots, which are boots that you wear on post or day to day. It's basically what you're going to go to work in, you know, pretty much every day, the, the boots that you're going to wear the most. All right, then you have your rucking slash field boots and uh, some people have you know um field boots and they have you know rucking boots or most people like to have um their their rucking and field boots like together and then you have your extreme winter boots i'm not really going to talk about the extreme winter boots because unless you know you're in a place that has severe temperatures or unless you're just out in the extreme cold temperatures like in the field a lot it really is not going to uh, apply to most people so i'm just gonna i'm gonna leave those results out for the extreme winter ones all right and then after i give you the results on um, the garrison boots and the field slash ruck boots. I'm going to talk about what boots I actually wear and what I think are the best um, for me. But I'm going to talk about the results first. All right, so I'm excited about this because like this is something that I've been you know thinking about for a long time, and I know you all have been um, asking. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so we're going to go into garrison first. So these are what people said are the best garrison boots, just for wearing you know day to day um, while you're on the job, and the boots pretty much that you're going to be wearing most of your army career all right so let's go ahead and get into the nike sfbs all right with the nike sfbs these are a lightweight boot a lot of soldiers i've seen wearing these and a lot of people say that they're um, very durable and they're, they're pretty comfortable shoes they're almost like wearing tennis shoes whenever you're out in the garrison environment so you just slip them on they feel great to walk around in all right and then you have the garmont t8 nfs lightweight now, these are also one of the most popular boots that I've seen soldiers wearing and based on the results, a lot of people love these boots because they said that they're lightweight, they said that you can wear them um, interchangeably in the field and in the garrison environment and that's key because a lot of soldiers, myself included, don't like having different boots for um, your different environments. If I have shoes in the garrison or boots in the garrison, I want to wear those same boots out in the field or whenever I'm out on a ruck mart. So, the Garmont TA NFS Lightweight provides that versatility that a lot of soldiers like. All right, now, the Oakley Light Assault Boots. These are boots that most people said that um, they recommend in the garrison environment only because they're lightweight. Oakley is a great brand for um, combat boots. I see a lot of soldiers wearing them. However, with the Oakley Light Assault Boots, they are one of the favorites, however, only on the garrison side. So a lot of soldiers like wearing them in the garrison. I don't know. Um, based on the results if soldiers like to wear them out in the field or not I didn't see too many people say that so I didn't want to say that they're gonna be great field and rucking boots because based on the results people weren't wearing them out in the field and on ruck marches so um, that's something to take into consideration as well if you like Oakley and you like lightweight boots these boots are um, one of the most popular boots as well in the garrison environments now let's talk about the Rocky S2 V's now with the Rocky S2 um, S2 V's 
What I like about these boots is because a lot of soldiers said that they recommend them in the garrison environment and in the field slash rucking environment. So that's very important. Now, this was honestly the most popular boot that soldiers recommended for the entire pole because you're able to wear them in the garrison environment and you're able to wear them out in the field and during your ruck marches. So shout out to Rocky, y'all doing some great things. This was not only the most favorite, but this um, boot was also pricey. I looked up the prices myself, and right now they're averaging at about $230. I don't know if they do sales or not, or maybe I was just looking at the online prices and not what's actually in the PX or in your local um, store that sells combat boots. But based on the polls, people also said that they're um, pricey. But for me and um, a lot of other soldiers, we don't too much care about the price because you're investing in your feet. So even though they were about $100 more expensive than a lot of the other boots, the boots that soldiers were saying that they could wear four or five years without replacing, which is a great thing. So that means they're durable boots and you can also wear them in the garrison environment. You can wear them out in the field and you can wear them um, for ruck marches. So this was the most popular boot and I was surprised because I didn't think that. I seen a lot of soldiers wearing them, but I didn't think in the back of my head when I did the poll that these were gonna come out on top. So these came out actually on top by a long shot. Now, let's get into the field slash rucking boots. So, again, the Rocky S2Vs were also one of the most popular for the rucking in the fields. All right, and then you have the Garmont T8 Bifida. Now, what I like about these boots, based on the poles, a lot of soldiers like wearing these out in the field because they said they're um, light enough to move around and ruck in, but they're also um, durable enough and they have enough stability for you to, to get that comfort out in the field and you also can wear them in the garrison environment without them being a hindrance and not feeling too heavy. I um, asked some ranger um, buddies as well about um, what boots they like to wear and a lot of them recommended the Garmont T8 Bifida. So if you're a combat branch or if you plan on getting into um, you know, some kind of combat MOS, the Garmont T8 Bifida might just be your best friend. A lot of the combat soldiers specifically recommended these boots so i don't know what your job is in the army or if you plan on you know doing a lot of things out in the field but a lot of soldiers recommended the garmont t8 bifidas they said it's a great brand they said you can have them for um years a lot of people wear them out on deployments as well and they said they're just great all-around boots so you can wear them not only overseas but you can wear them here in the garrison environment and out in the field so to me those are also a really durable and um and great boot so to recap you have the Garmont T8 Bifidas and the Rocky S2Vs, which were the two most favorite boots based on the polls and based on the results. So now let's get into what boots I actually wear. So I experimented with a bunch of different boots. I did have the Garmonts. For me, they weren't my favorite just because I didn't, I felt like they were a little too heavy on my feet and I've always grown up wearing like lighter shoes. So when I tried on different combat boots, I wanted to wear boots that fit kind of like the, the shoes that I used to um, wear, you know, growing up and that I felt like I can really exercise in and get a lot out of. So I wear the Nike SFB Field 2s. Now what I like about these is they're not as light as the Nike SFBs, but they, um, they still light enough for you to walk around and it feels like tennis shoes on my feet. And they also are durable enough for me to wear on my long ruck marches. They're durable enough for me to wear out in the field. I haven't had any issues in them. I've worn them in the rain. I've worn them in on the sleet, in the snow. So, I mean, they've been all, all around great boots for me. But again, when it comes to boots, just like running shoes, you need to experiment with these boots. So you're probably gonna go through about two or three boots in the arm before you figure out which boots are best for you, unless you just wanna stick with the standard issue of the stock boots. Um, that's totally your opinion. But um, you're gonna experiment with a bunch of different boots. And I recommend you trying on these different boots just because you wanna invest in your feet, like I said, and just because someone says, hey, these are the best boots for the army, that doesn't mean that they're telling like, you know, the complete truth because that's best for their feet and what they do and what their job is. If you have an MOS where you're just sitting at a desk all day and you're not gonna be doing anything in the field, you probably don't want one of the uh, field of rug boots because you're not gonna be doing out a lot of stuff out there. But um, likewise, if you're out in the field a lot and you have like say a combat MOS or you're going on a deployment and you know you're gonna be doing a lot on your feet, you might wanna invest in a different type of boot. So do your research, try on different type of boots and find out what's best for you. All right, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, put them in the comments below. I'm also gonna link all the boots that I named in here in the um, description so you can check them out for yourself and do your research and find out the price points and all that good stuff. And as always, follow me on Instagram at AlvinTheDirector, and I'm out.